Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Capricorn for November of 2020. So I want to say welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you for sticking with me through October. I did take a little bit of a break, but I am back and I am recharged and ready to go. Let me know if you guys are feeling that too in October about really kind of feeling depleted, a little bit burnt out. I did do a video here on YouTube about feeling burnt out and how to handle that. You can check that out. I also do go live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to check me out with different topics about toxic relationships, childhood trauma, energy healing, spirituality, all that good stuff, um, you can check that out on Tuesday nights. I also have a very exciting offer, um, a new course that just came out called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are looking to really connect to your higher self, the one that already knows everything that you want to know, everyone, the one that already has everything that you already have and how to get there, um, you can check that out, how to manifest everything that you're looking for. Um, early bird pricing does end on November 1st. So you can check that out in the description box and in the comments below. But let's go ahead and give, get into November. We've got the Six of Pentacles, which is your overall energy. This is about walking your own path. Let me just look at these other cards for a minute. Hmm. Yeah, so this is about walking your own path here. This is about doing things the way that you want to do them. So really about living the life that you want to live the way that you want to live it. Um, especially with everything happening in our world today, especially in the USA, um, you know, being told what to do, how to do things, what we can't do, all of this stuff might be very irritating to you this month. Um, so really kind of just try to take a step back and just realize everything that's going on. But the there's these cards are so beautiful for you this month. So we start off with the star card followed with the five of pentacles, but with the queen of pentacles as well. So I do feel as though you might be feeling a little bit lonely in the beginning of November. This might be because you are connecting more to yourself, more to that higher self, more to your intuition. The star card is really about connecting. I mean, look at how beautiful she is here. All this white light, like it's so beautiful. So this might be telling me that you might be having a spiritual awakening. Let me know in the comments below if that's you. Um, you might have already had your spiritual awakening, but now you might be coming to the stage of your spiritual awakening where you're losing friends. Um, people around you, you're just not vibing with them anymore and things are kind of awkward and weird and you might just be like losing people out of your life. That definitely could be happening here because this is about feeling left out in the cold feeling like they don't care, feeling like they're not thinking about you or you're not thinking about them. The energies could be reversed here. But it's got to happen because you've got the Queen of Pentacles here. So you're getting to this point, and I do feel like this is more about being in the stage of spiritual awakening where you are realizing that you are changing and you are shifting and you're becoming this Queen of Pentacles where you're trusting in the universe. You're not stressing as much as you used to. You're not negative as much as you used to be and really coming into this beautiful energy. So just be aware that this is very, very normal about feeling very alone. Um, a lot of spiritual people, I, I love this, right? I kind, kind of, where it's like, we are spiritual people, but at this point, we're afraid to talk about our spirituality. So we're kind of in the closet. And until like people actually start to talk about it, you don't know that your best friend could be having the same feelings as you uh, because we don't talk about it. So like, get out there and talk about it and be proud of your spirituality. So important with that, but it could feel like, you know, people don't understand you and, and stuff or you feel like you have to hide it too, All right? So we've got the lover's card in the middle of the month. We've got the moon card and then we've got the seven of cups. So this is definitely that connection. Now the lover's card could be that somebody, for some of you, for some of you, I don't like to get in your heads, guys, but for some of you, there could be somebody entering your life that is going to help you on your spiritual path here. Um, very intimate, very um, just really kind of you trust and they're going to help you on that spiritual path. They're going to help you bring out your shadows here. And they're going to help you kind of get clarity and not being so confused. Because with the Seven of Cups, it's like having many different choices, not really knowing what to do. But there could be somebody that comes into your life that helps you do that. Now, on the other side of this spectrum, there could be, this could be you connecting again. This is really about you connecting. You could have been in my 21 days to opening your psychic abilities course. But this is really about you and your higher self getting really connected uh, really connected to your intuition, really connected to 
um, the, the universe, some angels, loved ones on the other side, all of that. It could just be a very heavy connection. Like they're making me feel like you started the spiritual awakening is now you want to go from like zero to a hundred in like a day. Um, so just relax again. I think I might've said that in the beginning of this reading, but just kind of relax because things have to come for you here. They have to kind of un unveil themselves at its own pace. Uh, a lot of us want to force things. We want to know things. We want to get the ball rolling. We want to get this going. But sometimes things just take time. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here with this moon and this connection. So if this is resonating with you in the area of really kind of wanting to like jump in and be woo as woo as possible, it's like you've got to let your, your human side catch up to your spiritual side. So again, just kind of realizing that and that will actually leave you leave you in a less confused state. All right, because you still are human. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, I work with a lot of women that they have done so much spiritual work, but they're still not like feeling where they want to be. And it's because you got to you got to work with the human side, too, because we are in a human body. <laughs> so just don't forget that. OK, we've got the justice card at the end of the month. We've got the page of cups at the end of the month and we've got the temperance card here. So, again, this is really about I feel like it's really about you finding out who you are and creating that balance. I mean, this is definitely those step backs that I was talking about here. And it's like, don't worry, your time will come with this justice card. Like, again, don't rush things. That's really important here because they're making me feel what I'm seeing here. I'll try to explain this to you. But what I'm seeing is that if you're trying to rush things, you're going to kind of go off on the wrong path because you're trying to take the shorter path. And it's going to actually end up being really windy and longer and bumpy and rocky and all of that stuff. Where if you kind of just take your time and let things come to you, it's going to be a smooth path to follow. All right. So just heed the warning there. All right. How do you want to do this? <laughs> you want it to be bumpy or do you want it to be smooth? So and it's funny, though, because in, you know, with women that I work with who are codependent and empaths, and it's like sometimes we like that rockiness because that's what we're so used to in our childhood and everything like that. So we do want the rocky way. It's like, no, 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 no. We'll take the bumps. We'll take the mountains. But the thing that they're showing me is that even if you go that path, you might get there quicker, but it's not going to be the same experience it's not going to be the same journey and it's not going to give you the, the same results and the, the same, uh, I want to say clarity or you're not going to be in the place that you really want to be because you skipped, you skipped, um, experiences, you skipped journeys, you skipped the important things. So when you do get to the destination, it's not going to be as fulfilling as if you had taken your time to get there. All right. You're still going to be wanting more is what I'm getting. You're still going to be wanting more when you get to that destination. So we've got the one of wands and we've got the nine of swords here. So the one of wands is about following your dreams. Again, six of pentacles, same type of thing where this is a new beginning for you. So definitely, you know, take your time with it. Take your time with it. That's really all I have to say for you here. Stress and anxiety with the nine of swords. So again, are you going to go that bumpy route? Are you going to be all up in your head? Are you going to, you know, um, try to force yourself to get there? Or are you going to take the time out and kind of enjoy the ride and enjoy the journey? And it's not about when you get there, but it's about how you get there and how it's going to be when you do get there. All right, so important. So we've got my soul truth cards. They are daily questions that transform your life. I love this deck. Um, it is one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a question for Capricorn. What question does Capricorn need to know? And Capricorn moon sign as well. So this is resonating too. Who can I serve today is the question. And it says, in a world lacking soul-to-soul -soul connection, small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. Who needs you today? And today's soul action. Listen to your heart. Who needs you? 
Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. So this is really awesome that this card came up, especially with what I've been saying here, where it's like when you feel that need to jump, when you feel that need to go down the wrong path because you are just trying to force things. Instead, ask yourself this question. This is like a distraction. And like, you know, leave that alone for a minute. Who can you serve today? And try to help somebody today without expecting anything back. And that's a very, really important part. We talk about that in my From Pain to Power mentorship about boundaries, where when we set a boundary or something where we don't, we actually expect something back. We do something for somebody expecting something back. So therefore, serve somebody when you're feeling like this. Serve somebody every day and use that as your journey to get to where you want to be because it's going to make you feel good and you're not expecting anything back. So you're literally serving and the universe loves, loves when you serve. So definitely, who are you serving today? I'm actually going to read this one too here. I'm being pulled to it. Am I apologizing for my truth? I like this question for you, especially with the six of pentacles here and the star and all about connection and spiritual awakening here. Like, are you apologizing for your truth? And it says, what part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today's soul action. Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Courage is contagious. Wow. So this is what I was talking about when we're talking about not coming out of that closet. I did a, um, I did a post on Facebook, I think it was about two years ago now, where it's like, I'm coming out of the closet. And I'm like, wait, not that closet, the spiritual closet. Because that's really what I feel like it is. A lot of us are so ashamed or hide our spirituality because we don't think anybody else will accept it. It's not true anymore. There's so many closet spiritualists um, that just don't talk about it because they're afraid of being judged. So courage is contagious. So step outside of your comfort zone. Speak up and let other people know that there are other people that feel the same way that they do. So I love that as well for you guys. So I hope that resonates with you. Again, if you want to join me in our course of Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance, you can check that out in the description box and the comments below. It's really about letting go of the limiting beliefs, letting go of the fear of what people think of you, really connecting spiritually to your higher self, um, embodying that higher self and also manifesting what you want in your life. Um, I manifested this house, I manifested my dog, I manifested uh, my, my financial freedom. So I'm teaching you every single thing that I know about all of that in order to you for you to get your manifestations, okay? So if you're interested, early bird pricing does end on November 1st. You can check out all the details in the, again, description box and comments below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Much love to all of you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.